What's going on, Top Notch family? So, it looks like we got some news on why the New York Knicks traded away um, Dante D um, to the Minnesota Timberwolves. So, it looks like he reportedly didn't like the idea of playing a reduced role with the New York Knicks. Um, he's probably going to be coming off the bench this season. Bridges would likely have taken his spot um, in the starting lineup. And I can say co confidently, um, confidently that he didn't exactly love the idea of playing fewer minutes slash a reduced role this season. He was coming off for a career year and helped his team win a ton of games when it was shorthanded. Now, I 100% agree, man. Dante was absolutely huge for the New York Knicks. I mean, he played 81 games. He had a career year in points. And I'm going to bring it on the um, screen right now. Damn near average 30 minutes a game, 15.5 points a game, 3.7 rebounds, and 2.7 assists. As you see, that's his highest total, highest total mark of his career. And But not only that, guys, right? He averaged more in the postseason, shooting a high clip from the three-point line around 40% and averaging about 18 points a game. So adding a player like Mikhail Bridges and obviously Jalen Brunson at the time, obviously still there, and having a bunch of other scores, his role was definitely going to be um, shortened, unfortunately. That's just kind of how the NBA works. When you trade five first-round picks, you're most likely not going to be in the starting lineup for that player, may play less. Also, what I will say, you know, before this news came out, I was giving the New York Knicks an L, and I still am because losing a player like him is definitely unfortunate. But I see both sides. If he didn't even want to be there, if he was going to get less role, you got to get him out of there. It just makes sense. You got two players that were very iffy, Julius Randle and now Dante. I think Dante is going to play some really, really good basketball with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, let me know what you guys think about this for like all the New York Knicks fans, the Minnesota Timberwolves fans, or just NBA fans in general. Do you guys believe this report? If not, let me know what you guys think. Once again, I love you guys so much and follow for more NBA content.